Hi everyone, welcome to the Diecast Collection with Ours channel. I will show you the 1966 Chevrolet Chevelle SS396 by Maisto. This model was released in 2015 as part of the special edition 1 over 24 scale series. Being a larger model in a 1 over 24 scale, this Chevrolet Chevelle has more details with interactive features and it looks more accurate than your smaller diecast models that we usually have. Here is a Hot Wheels model, the 1 over 64 scale uh, Hot Wheels model. And to compare with the other diecast brand like Tomica, see how small it is compared to the Chevrolet. The Majorette Porsche we compared here, it's a bit larger than the earlier ones, but still smaller than the Chevrolet Chevelle. This is what I like about the larger scale model, and we get to see more of this model in this video. I like how the Maestro team did with this model because they made it more real with the minimal paint designs, but placed in the right places over the black body. Some of the paint designs of this model are the Chevrolet logo, which is accurate and clear on top of the front fender. One thing to note here is the pretty presentation of the wheels. They are formed with these geometric shapes painted with chrome and even the tires are very detailed. It's not just some simple casting detail. It is a very well defined rim. There are gaps in the doors here and over here because the doors can open. Which makes it easier for later because there are no windows in the center part of the doors. Paint designs on the door handle and the keyhole. The skirt fender has the raised form just like the front fender. But this time being a skirt fender it covers a bit of the top of the uh, back wheel. The back wheel is similar to the front wheel with the well defined uh, rim and the tires. Very long back, very characteristic of the uh, muscle cars of this 1960s era. The meaning of the SS, the text logo, which is the Super Sport, is in here. The left side is the same with the right side. Well, mostly with the same size detailed wheels, shiny black paint on the body, and some paint designs uh, spread on the body. The difference is in the door, which there is a side mirror that is painted with uh, shiny chrome. It's made with plastic. It does not have any shiny mirror uh, placed at the mirror area, unlike the uh, other diecast models. But one thing to note is this side mirror is missing on the other door. I researched on the web and some models of the era on the 1960s, I think uh, some cars do not have the uh, side mirror on the other door on the right side. The front of the Chevelle is very detailed and has a lot of plastic parts. The lights have these dots in the middle that is really the connectors and they look like light bulbs from a distance. Under the lights with the light bulbs in the bumper part is a slot for the signal light. It would have been great if some paint were applied on the slot for more realism. Black painted mesh pattern for the grill. In the middle of the grill is the SS396 badge in chrome. Under the badge in the bumper area is the license plate. It looks like it was painted or tampoed, but it's not. It's made with some sort of thick cardboard sticker. Same lights here on the left side with the signal light slot at the bottom. The back is also detailed, but it has less plastic. The plastic parts starts with the brake lights, combination of red and chrome plastic. The bumper is also plastic with the license plate uh, that is uh, similar to the uh, cardboard sticker applied in the middle, just like in the front. In the middle part, the paint designs are mostly in the logo in the center with a, hey, look at that, there's a keyhole pattern in the middle. Very cool. SS396, the model name of this car, the brake lights similar to the other side. The details on the top are mostly in the front and the back. In the front hood, there are rectangular shapes that is most likely for the air vents of the engine. 
there are even lines for the grill at the end. And on top of the grill are a pair of wipers that are part of the metal body, which is very cool. Nothing much on the roof. Some clear defined lines for the back trunk door. This is what I like about larger scale models. It is very easy to see the interior through the interactive features. Opening the doors is very easy, which reveals more of the interior, like the driver's wheel, which has a silver paint in the middle. The car seats have cushion details, a compartment in the middle, and looking down there in the center, some more details like the uh, transmission stick. In the door part, there's even some details on the door handle. Very nice. Most of the interior is painted with flat black to show some leather effect. Even the back seat has cushion details. The other side, opening the doors on the other side, shows more of the details of the interior. On the passenger side, let me focus a bit. There you go. There's the glove compartment with some additional uh, details also on the door. The back mirror on top, which is really pl a part of the plastic windshield. And before I forget, one thing I, I like about these larger scale models, it's a bit hard to show, are the foot pedals. Very nice. And it's very easy to close the doors, just push them back, just like that. And one last thing here, if you open the front hood, you can see the engine with some paint designs in the uh, middle. That is very cool. One big difference between Maisto models of this scale and the Boraga models is if you try to rotate or turn the front wheels, they don't turn. And I think that is the, one of the big differences between those two models. I'd like to show also the bottom, which is also detailed. Very nice to look at. The exhausts, there are two of them on the sides at the back wheel. More of the chassis details in the front. The screws for the connector to the base. And some copyright information in the middle. This ends my video art on the 1966 Chevrolet Chevelle SS396 by Maisto. Thanks for watching, enjoy your collection, and see you with the next model.